lovely wife Jax is going to whip us up a quick salad, a pickled veg salad. Very nice, one of my favourites. But anyway, we'll see you in the vid. Okay, first I'd like to point out that we try and save as much as of our own seed as we can. Um, it, we find that it's really beneficial to let one plant seed and to collect the seed from it and save it. Um, and we find each year our seed stock and plants are getting better and better by keeping these genetics. Uh, two, we try and trade with as many people. There's good sites on Facebook that you can trade with, other seed savers and seed saving groups, so highly recommended. But our pick for number one would be King's Seed. The thing I like about King's is they've got a really good organic section. I've been using their seed for many years and found them very reputable and um, reliable. Number two choice would be Koranga Institute. I find them fantastic, they've got a whole range of heirloom varieties of stuff that you wouldn't find in shops anywhere else, um, really good to deal with, so Karanga Institute is number two. Number three is Egmont Seeds, um, another reputable company with a really nice book catalog that you can look through and they've got heaps of good selections so I'm going to leave a link to all of these below in the comments if anyone's interested, it's a really good time now over lockdown to have a look through and plan your garden ahead. All right, we need some red mustard. Nice and spicy, this stuff. Um, I think we'll add a shallot. It's last year's shallots, they keep really well. Put one of them in. Right, we need some chilies. These are pretty funky, look at these. Eh? Purple and red, very hot too. Good, we'll have to put them in the basket. Uh, one of the better things you can put in is beetroot leaves. We grow these for the bulb and for the leaf. The beetroot leaf is really nice in salads. So we need a couple of those. And they always come away, so you have an endless supply of them. So good plant to grow. This is our wasabi patch. It goes right through to here. Um, what we do with the wasabi is it's in flower at this time of the year, so each wasabi plant has a vine that comes out of it with the flower and seed head on it. You only need one seed head per plant to keep seeds, so these are all surplus. So pick these and chop them up. They're very nice in our pickled veg. Okay, we need some ricotto. There's a yellow ricotto. That one's ready to go, so we'll take it. And one of the main ingredients that we absolutely love is mint. This is a very nice cultivar of mint, very sweet. So we need a sprig of mint as well. Chuck that in. Awesome, I think we're ready to go. Okay, so we're gonna make our pickled vegetables. I have got 150 mils of boiling water and I'm gonna add, you can add sugar, but I'm gonna add honey. This is our honey off the farm. And I'm just going to dissolve it in the water. Might take a bit. You can use a teaspoon of sugar for this, but we don't eat sugar, so we just use our honey. We do have bees, so we use our honey from our own bees off our own place. So once you've dissolved all the honey, then you're going to add 150 mils of spiced vinegar. You can use other types of vinegar, but we like spiced best. Yeah, and then we're just going to set it aside and leave it to cool because you don't want to cook your veggies. So we're going to start with our red mustard, and we're just going to roughly chop it. And then just 
pull it apart a wee bit and that goes in. And we've got our beetroot leaves. And same with those. And our wasabi heads, flower heads. I just want to make them biggish so they're good to eat as a salad, pickled salad. With the water and the vinegar, it's equal parts. So when I said 150 mils of each, it, each that's about all we're going to need. And the mint can be a little. I'll put it all in. Sprinkle of mint, and we've got a shallot, a good crop of shallots last year. Open for another good crop this year. And just however much you think you might need, or just to your own taste, you can put whatever vegetables or whatever you like in it. Really, pickled veggies are great. So I'm just going to dice. A bit rough. Sprinkle that over. Maybe all we need. Can't have anything in our house without a chili in it. Not too much though. Just choose the chili man, not me. Plus, you want to be able to keep your seed. And because one chili is never enough, we're going to go for a ricotto as well. Once again, keep the seed. Ricottos are really cool. They have black seeds. Pop you in there. This is probably one of my least favourite chilies. I've had a bad experience with a ricotto in the past. Also good for keeping your chili tolerance up. And then you can just season with a bit of pepper, a bit of salt. Once your pickle juice is all ready, your homemade pickle juice, you just pour it gently over your vegetables. Give it a bit of a zhuzh up. Now this will be ready to eat in one hour. But if you leave it in your fridge, it'll, it can last up for two, two or three days. But it never lasts that long in our house. And you can just give it a bit of a swirl around. And that is be ready for lunch. Enjoy. Okay, that will do it for this video. I hope everyone's safe and, and enjoying lockdown. Um, I know it can be a bit tricky at times, but we're a team of five million and we're doing a fantastic job, Aotearoa. All the best and stay safe.